Today I was just chilling on YouTube and then I found this video. And in this video, this dude, Electron, who's supposed to be a knowledgeable dude on PCs, pays $15 to get the simplest tweaks ever. So it just pissed me off that this guy is getting good views and is getting a platform while he literally did the simplest tweaks ever. So I'm going to show you guys actual good tweaks. And Electron, if you're watching this, please take notes. Love you though, bro. All the tweaks will be inside of my Discord, inside of the Tweaks channel. So make sure to join the Discord in the pinned comment. Once you've downloaded the pack of Lugit, you're going to go to Restore Point. Me personally, though, I don't have a Nable because I like to go on Rock, you know what I mean? Just so you know, disabling these Xbox services will disable, like, gaming services and all that. So if you use, like, Minecraft or any game that you download from Microsoft Store, it will probably not work properly. But anyways, copy this and paste it into... PowerShell with administrator permissions. If this is your first time ever using this, you will have to download something called Chocolatey. Don't worry, it's fine. Next, you're gonna go to Tweaks, Standard. Game DVR, by the way, will completely disable Microsoft Store games, so keep that in mind. But anyways, from here you're gonna disable. Well, you can do this, try it out. For me, I don't have it on because it makes my black screens when I get off of my games longer. So if that's not a problem for you, go ahead and click it. But everything else from the enable is these two and this. You can disable this and this. I don't recommend it really. Your windows will work just fine, but you know, it's a little interesting. Also, you can add and activate the ultimate performance profile. However, it's not perfectly tweaked, so you're going to have to do some of that yourself. But from here, you're just going to disable everything but this. You don't even need this for real, unless you're doing like stuff with files and you need to change the extensions. But everything else here is complete bonds and will have like a service associated with it. Next, you're going to go to updates and disable all updates. This is because Windows Orchestra, Windows Update and Update Orchestrator are both really memory and CPU hungry services. So it's really nice not having these in the background, especially since you're not even updating all the time. And also, if you do update your PC, all of your settings usually like disappear and they just get put set back to the regular values. So you don't really want that. This is just wrong. It should be set to never. And then turn off hard disk after zero. It's perfect. Perfect. Slideshow should not be available. Should be paused. Wireless adapter setting power. Perfect. Sleep. Obviously, you don't want any of this. Just basically set it to never. So we're zero, zero, and never are basically the same. Loud wake timers want that disabled. USB settings absolutely don't want that on. Link power state management that's fine. Processor power, all this is cool. Display turn display after zero, which will go to never. There we go. And then multimedia. These don't really matter as much starting with windows anything like that and if you have any apps that you don't use and stuff just delete them now that we've successfully uploaded our computer oh man i can't count huh you're gonna go to oh oh shut up and then you're gonna import my settings so import settings uh oh set up blah blah, blah 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 and then look at these settings on your own i'm sure that my settings are not the same that you guys want if that's not what you guys want then you guys do you change whatever you need Notifications, this is all gonna basically just disable services. I don't know why I have it as a separate step. Basically, I'm just lazy, but it's just gonna disable services, essentially, and turn off some stuff that you just don't really want. Before you start with either of these, first, you're gonna go on and go to DDU, DDU, blah, 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 and then do this, go through it, select device, GPU, select AMD, Intel, whatever, and then press clean and do not restart. Depending on your GPU, you're gonna have two different things to do here. Go on either this or into the NVIDIA one. Once you've downloaded this, extract all. And then I'm gonna go into here. And that's the final one or second to final one. So for NVIDIA, first things first, NVIDIA clean install. Install or use driver files on this. So you should already have downloaded your stuff so next now if you need to and you have like a capture card or something i'm not sure if a lot of people do you can uh, have hd audio via hdmi 
but every literally just don't have anything if you currently use shadow play also known as you for experience just don't i'm pretty sure the nvidia app is better but i like obs a lot more because it's just much more customizable but you know i'll just let you guys do whatever first off you want to disable this disable this disable this or not do this disable these two these two are for like color filters in games and mpo search it up yourself um gyro telemetry if you disable this you will not have a functional control panel so you'll have to use nvidia profile inspector obviously up to you um i personally don't really care that much for control panel but if you do you're completely welcome to do what you want and then disable HTCP. turn that on disable that now you're going to use method compatible with easy chain anti-cheat i don't think we even need to have this on i don't even play for now on this stuff and then you're gonna press next so i'm gonna close that because i've already done all of that once you successfully downloaded the nvidia drivers you can go here and then you can go to this click that run yes okay then go to nvidia profile inspector open up nvidia profile inspector go back here get the optimus animex profile and just check it in here and then okay press apply changes you should be good another thing that is even after this if your gpu is kind of butt cheeks you can also download msi afterburner and overclock it so usually a plus 500 memory clock um, boost works on like decent end gpus my 1080 worked with 500 plus and so has my 2080 but also keep in mind that if you add if you put plus 200 for the core clocks it will not work as well as just going through curve editor and changing it individually well not really individually just go to the voltage that you want your gpu to be on and just overclock that particular voltage but to find the gp or the voltage that you want to be on just go onto like fortnite or well not fortnite go onto like a graphically challenging game or whatever play it for a while let your gpu go up to 100 percent usage find the voltage that it stays on most of the time and just increase whichever voltage that is or you could go one step down or maybe even two steps down and just under it and also overclock the everything i have here and then go to display overrides turn hdcp off on every single monitor you have also go ahead and go to performance metrics just turn all of these off go to tuning and when you're in here just put power tuning at the max max out the fan speed zero rpm off put on advanced control test it out yourself you don't really want it to be this low probably want to start off at like around 50 percent and then next like 50 or like 60 70 80 but this is going to make it so that while your gpu is being overclocked there won't be any issues with overheating you don't want to put the memory on fast timing also try to overclock your memory i recommend that you guys definitely try to overclock because amd gpus overclock much further than intel or not intel nvidia and they're just so much more consistent with it turn off check for updates you can keep this on i don't think it really makes a huge difference preferences just basically disable everything here except for maybe system tray menu i don't really use it for system tray menu you can just open it through here so it doesn't really matter that much animation and effects you can keep that on this will not download so you're gonna have to download it yourself now i should have replaced it in the google drive with another thing but you can always just search up disable defender and then it'll probably be the second or third thing that shows up i sort them now all you have to do is download do not click any other download links make sure it's that link so you're going to download that it's going to be in a random thingy bobber and then 7-zip extract to this the password is sortum s r this s o r d u m and then it's going to extract into something like this and then you just open this disable windows defender and then you should be good all right that's pretty much everything 
I have a couple more tweaks, but they wouldn't fit into this video and it would take too damn long. Also, I'm broke, so consider using my code in the item shop. Thank you guys for watching and bye! Before I end this video, I just want to say that I stream like every single day on Twitch and TikTok for like two to four hours. Sometimes, very rarely, like one, maybe even six on some days. So, I'd say you should definitely check me out. I'm a semi decent Fortnite player. I'm trying to get some earnings this season to beat the Creative Warrior allegations. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. Like, sub, send this to your mom, send this to your gerbil, and um, take a